Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we're going to take a look at GeoSocials, which is a game that allows you to use your GPS uh, to compete and play against others. So uh, from our dashboard right here, the first thing you'd want to do is set up a profile, and you can do that up here in the top right-hand corner, and you'd be asked uh, to set up a profile at the beginning. Just some basic information, and you're able to set that up. We also have an information tab in the top left-hand corner with help, review on iTunes, follow us on Twitter, and feedback if you have any questions. I'll want to add some friends because you need friends to uh, really kind of have some fun with this game. And I've added some friends, I just don't have any of them accepted yet. So it suggests that I go into leaderboards and find some people nearby me to add as friends. So if I tap on one of these people that is nearby me, I can see that I've added them as a friend and they're pending. I could see some information about that person. I could leave them a message and then when I'm done I can hit back. Alright, so I could view that entire list of people. And uh, if I can't click on their uh, profile, then it means that they have their privacy turned uh, to silent right now. And I can do that by tapping on, let's go back to my dashboard and tapping on this icon right here. If I tap on this icon, it puts me into private mode so that I can't be seen. And then when I tap it again, it brings me right back. Alright, so down here it shows me the treasures that I've won. It shows me how many points I have. It shows me how many unique locations I visited and my overall rank in the system. So of course what we're going to want to do is go on these treasure hunts. And so I'll tap on treasure hunt and it's going to take me to my map. It's going to find out exactly where I am and uh, you know my, in my geographic location using maps. And then I'm able to, of course, go and treasure hunt. Down here, I can tap and see. I can easily go back to my dashboard by tapping the dashboard button. I'm in treasure hunt mode right now, which means I'm looking for treasure. So I might want to pinch to zoom out on my map and try and find some treasures. And uh, I believe that there were some treasures out here the last time that I looked. And so it might take a second for the map to, oh, there's some, the map to, uh, to kind of refresh. And if I tap on those, I can see what these treasures are. So uh, it says solve the challenge to stake your claim. So I'll just hit I'm game and I have a paper toss. So I play the paper toss game. It says swipe your fingers. It gives me a little bit of help on that game. And sometimes these are games, sometimes they are uh, other things. Wow, I'm just not doing too good right now. None of these are making it in. All right, so uh, it says, I just won 200 points. OK, so I could share that or just go back and try another one. So let's see, solve the challenge to stake your claim. So I have a lot more games that I can play on my map. So what's cool about this is that you don't have to actually drive to these locations to play these games. You could play these games right now. Um, and then when you're different in different locations, you can tap here to drop treasure. So for example, in this area, I've already dropped this treasure right here. And so uh, I've dropped treasure and somebody else could play a game that I've left behind. You can see how many treasures I'm able to drop based on how many points I have right there. I also am in, can be in social mode where I could view other people um, and their profiles. And so as I s zoom around on the map, I can view little people icons and, and potentially see exactly who's in my area. And I could tap on their little uh, screens and view their name and their information and if they have a bio and how many points they have and all that good stuff. So I could tap one more time and then I can see my rewards and it says, oops, sorry, no rewards here, try again later. Um, and then discounts because there are other things that can be available and of course as you pinch out and view a larger area, more things will become available to you. Um, there could be deals available that you can access by this section here. There could be rewards available just depends. Everything's going to be different all the time and so you'll want to come back and check pretty often. Here's in social mode a bunch of people over in the Bay Area and San Francisco area and then uh, let's go to treasure hunt mode and just pinch out quite a bit and see what kind of stuff we have in a larger area range. 
So as I pinch out and wait for it to update, uh, different things will start to pop in, just depending on the area. Uh, of course, um, people have to have dropped these, and so that's uh, one thing that you'll want to do uh, when you make friends is say, hey, I need you to drop some stuff in my area, and vice versa. And that's kind of a, a neat thing for you to, to be able to do. Of course, I could just tap on them and play them. It's very simple. And then when I'm all done, I can go back to my dashboard and view my information. And look, I've won a treasure now. So it's definitely a fun, different game. You have the games that you can play, and then you also have the different uh, rewards and deals that you can get as well. Um, and of course, this is just going to continue to grow and get more and more interesting as time goes on. So definitely recommend that you check out GeoSocials. This is a very fun game uh, for you to play, especially if you've got some friends in the area. Tell them about GeoSocials, and you guys get on there and just have some fun. And before you know it, things will start to appear. So check out GeoSocials in the App Store.